Hello, we have this really cool problem. We have square root of x divided by x equals square root of 5. We are solving for all values of x that satisfy this equation. So, what we are going to do will be to divide this by 1. So, we cross multiply. And x will multiply square root of 5. So, we have x times root 5. And this equals root x multiplies 1. We have root x. So, we take the squares of the properties equation so from here remember if you have a times b raised to the power of c this equals a power c times b power c so we have x power 2 times square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 and this equals here this can eliminate this we have x because if you have square root of y raised to the power of 2 this is just like having y because this square root here is just like having y power 1 over 2. And when you raise to the power of 2, you have y because this half multiply 2 and you have 1. So that is it. Now back to this part of the equation, we have x squared times this cancel this, we have 5. And this equals x. So x squared times 5, that is 5x squared. And this equals x. So I can solve this in two different ways. The first way will just be for me to divide each part of this equation by x. So x squared divided by x is x, so this is 5x. And this equals x divided by x is 1. So solving for x, I divide this by 5 and divide this by 5. 5 eliminate 5 that means x equals 1 over 5 now this is one way i can also solve this at this particular point i can form an equation that means this is 5x squared equals x i move this over here i have 5x squared minus x equals 0 I can decide to factor out the common term, which is x. I have x times this divided x. This is 5x minus x divided x of 1 equals 0. So I have x equals 0. And also, I have 5x minus 1 equals 0. To solve for x here, I divide this by 5. But before then, let me move this over here. I have 5x equals 1. This becomes positive 1. I then divide this by 5. I divide this by 5. 5 eliminate 5. So I will have x equals 1 over 5. Right? So these are the two solutions that I've gotten based on this general method of solving. So we can as well solve this equation using this other method. I have square root of x divided by x equals square root of 5. Now remember, square root of x is the same as having x power 1 over 2. So square root of, we are going to replace the square root of x with x power 1 over 2. So I have x power 1 over 2 divided by x equals square root of 5. Now also remember, if you have a power n divided by a power n, equals a power n minus n. So this will be x power 1 over 2 minus 1 because this is raised to the power of 1. And this equals square root of 5. So from here, if I have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 1, find the common LCM. LCM is 2. I have 2 here. 2 divided by 2, 1. 1 times 1, I have 1 minus 2 divided by 1. 2, 2 times 1, we have 2. 1 minus 2 this is negative 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 1 over 2. I have x power negative 1 over 2 equals square root of 5. Now, at this point, we can solve for x because you have x power negative 1 over 2 equals square root of 5. The square root here, so I can decide to take the squares of the part of this equation. Right? 
So remember, if you have a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m, if I multiply this exponent, I will simply have x power negative 2 over 2 equals this. Let's cancel this, I will have 5. So negative 2 divided by 3 is negative 1. I have x power negative 1 equals 5. Now remember, if you have a power negative 1 equals 1 over a, so x power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over x, and this equals 5. How do you solve for x? I can as well divide this over 1. I cross multiply. 1 will multiply 1, I have 1. x times 5, I have 5x. That means 5x equals 1. I can solve for x. I divide this by 5. I divide this by 5. 5 eliminate 5. Half x equals 1 over 5. So in this other method, as you have seen, x equals 1 over 5. In general, we have two different solutions. It's time to check. We have two different solutions. We have x equals 0 and x equals 1 over 5. And the question remains, square root of x, square root of x divided by x equals square root of 5. So if x is 0, I'll simply have square root of 0 divided by 0 equals square root of 5, right? We are considering when x is 0. And square root of 0 is 0 divided by 0. Is this the same as square root of 5? Any number divided by 0 will give you undefined or indeterminate. So this is not the same as square root of 5. This actually cancels this particular solution. So this solution here is faulty, it's not correct. Let's consider when x is 1 over 5. I have square root of x divided by x equals square root of 5. And x is 1 over 5, I have square root of 1 over 5. Divided by 1 over 5 equals square root of 5. Now, if you have square root of a divided by b, this equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So square root of 1 over 5 is the same as square root of 1 divided by square root of 5 divided by 1 divided by 5 equals square root of 5. And remember, if you have a divided by b divided by c divided by d. This is just like having a divided by b times d divided by c. So this is my a, this is b, this is c, this is d. Right? So this will be square root of 1 divided by square root of 5 times 5 divided by 1. Is this the same as square root of 5? Square root of 1 is 1. So this is 1 divided by square root of 5 times 5 divided by 1. This is square root of 5. Now let's multiply 5 times 1. That is 5 divided by square root of 5. Because square root of 5 times 1 is square root of 5. Is this the same as square root of 5? We can rationalize this denominator by having 5 divided by square root of 5 times square root of 5 divided by square root of 5. This equals square root of 5. 5 times square root of 5, this is 5 root of 5. If I were root of 5 times root of 5, this is root 25. Is this the same as root 5? So from here we have 5 times root 5. If I were root 25, is 5. Is this the same as root 5? Let's cancel this. So I have root 5 cos root 5. The push sides are the same. So guys, this is it. And this is how you solve this radical problem step by step. And this is it. Thank you and goodbye.